Michael! Michael! Don't leave me here, Michael! Hi, I'm El Mushteri, and I'm never using that intro again. It's exclusive. Editing me here. We now have 5k people! Welcome, peoples. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. I am El Mushteri, and that means Jupiter in Arabic. You guys are officially my moons. Seriously, thank you for 5,000 human beings. You are all officially the board members of the council. And today, I am not doing a rewrite. I'm doing just sort of designs it won't be as high effort because next i'm doing a five nights at freddy's rewrite sort of thing so that is gonna take a while and i might be uploading smaller videos in between just so my channel doesn't die in the meantime so this video despite my intentions to make it one of the easier videos was actually quite tough to make i intended for this to be about the four elements and that actually failed but i do have like 10 variations of these guys piled up in my gallery if you want to see it just wasn't working out the concept wasn't working out i tried making them into spies artists just normal people and it didn't work so yeah i moved on to making this about the four horsemen of the apocalypse and what would they look like if they and what they'd look like if they were maybe part of some kind of 2D RPG game. Sort of like Franbo or Little Nightmares, not that I know if that one actually counts, or Little Misfortune. I just thought it'd be fun if you, playing as a main character, traversed a world and met four wacky siblings. And now that I think about it, that just <laughs> sounds like Undertale or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Speaking of, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles actually has banger designs. Just look at that shape language. I aspire to have as much shape language as them. Disclaimer, this is a video where I watch my speed paints and improvise over them, not like my regular, completely scripted stories. So if it sounds like I'm ever stammering or making things up, I am. So first up is war. On my other tries, I actually drew death first. So I don't know what compelled me to draw her first this time. So, for war, I gave her four arms, just to make it look like she is armed and ready. <laughs> and I gave her leg warmers, just because I thought it'd be cute to have the boxing gloves match up with her legs. I made sure to give her sort of gigantic, but also sophisticated kind of hair. Also, I made sure to give her a cool suit, because she is supposed to be feral plus Gucci. She makes everything into a competition, and in a game context, she would be the toughest boss to face. If she had video game stats, they would be high attack, middle area defense, high utility, because she can create tanks and weapons, and low speed. So you would have to rely on speed to beat her because she lacks in that area. And her hair is red, obviously. Her main color is red. I actually went with the ruby color palettes, but because honestly, I feel like there is nothing better than the color palette of red, white, black, and yellow. So basically, ruby nailed that. In other iterations, I actually gave her earrings, but I didn't this time. I just sort of gave her these hair tuft things that Katra has from she -Ra. That was completely unintentional. And she is definitely the harshest of the siblings. If you tell her literally anything, she will go, I don't care, and then punch you in the face. But she is actually the most protective of her siblings, so you don't actually have to worry too much if you make friends with her. I don't know what kind of RPG this would be, but if it had a fighting side or a magic side, she would be the, the opposite of the magic side. You wouldn't be able to do anything magical with her. And she represents the shape diamond. Just because I like diamond, I don't know. <laughs> and her shape is the diamond shape because she is supposed to be this like businesswoman, but feral, like, you know, as I said, feral with Gucci. Okay, next up is death. He is the oldest because, you know, you have to die for there to be war or famine or pestilence, or well, rather you have to be around for any of that to happen. You know what I mean. At first I drew him sort of off to the side, but then I, I was failing at it. I don't know why I put him in this, like, um, what do you call it, uwu pose? But yeah, I, I fixed that soon enough because I couldn't figure out how to align his legs correctly. So yeah, if you couldn't tell by the uwu pose, he is the sweetest one out of the four. He is obsessed with ways to tell the time. He, he, he all, like, his realm is covered in clocks and hourglasses and wristwatches and sand because he cares about that so much. In fact, one of the features of the games would be like, he asks you if you want to hear about his wristwatches and you have to say no because if you say yes, he will actually talk about it for like 
and it'll be a cutscene. You just die because he talks about wristwatches for so long that he outlives your mortal lifespan, basically. If that makes sense. I gave him a lab coat and a turtleneck and just black shoes because I wanted him to look sterile, sort of like a doctor, even though he is an inventor, technically. I don't know, I just thought death would have that look, if anything. He finds humanity very cute, so he lets them stick around for longer than certain other mammal species. He really cares about his siblings, despite not showing it. It's sometimes it seems like the only thing he cares about is watches and clocks, but he really does come through. In fact, so his stats would be lower than normal attack, lower than average defense, normal utility, and normal speed. He's sort of easygoing. But if you choose to play in, like if there was, for example, a genocide mode to this RPG game, his stats would suddenly shoot up into the stratosphere. He would be the most dangerous, even worse than war. Because, you know, in the end, sometimes war doesn't kill you. Sometimes you come back from war, but death will kill you. So then there is my personal favorite, Famine. He bullies pestilence all the time. He is always joking about how many diseases pestilence has. Has. Which is, which is all of them. By the way, you will find out when we talk about pestilence what his deal is. And basically he is the shortest of the four horsemen because um, I said to my friend, it makes the food on the floor easier to access. Because how often do you see food in the sky? unless you're talking about birds, in which case he probably eats those too. He will eat literally anything and everything. There is nothing that Famine will not eat. He is like that one guy from real life. I say it as if he's from a TV show, who like would eat everything. I believe he ate a cat at one point. I do end up giving him glasses. I don't know why I didn't add that in. In every other iteration of Famine, he does have glasses, so I mean, all the better to eat, all the better to see you with deer and all that. <sighs> I also gave him a second mouth and circular buckles on his suspenders just because it creates the illusion of a face being there. His second mouth is also what does some of the talking. It's split 50-50 between his real mouth and his second mouth. In fact, you could argue that his stomach mouth is actually his real mouth, but left up for speculation. He's also a great cook, and sometimes he like manages to chop up his fingers or burn his hands, which is why he has bandages on them. Shh, it's also because I felt his design needed something extra. He is very charming, and he loves humanity because of the great food they make, but that is not to say he has never eaten a human. He definitely has. He and Death are the ones that go out around humans the most. War and Pestilence keep to themselves for the most part. So yeah, last is pestilence, and I had a funny joke with my friends that pestilence has every single disease in existence, literally every one, and that has become canon at this point. He is basically this really old guy. I mean, you know, they are immortals, but he is like, despite being like the third or second youngest, he is the oldest feeling one. This man is a boomer. Even like before boomers existed, that's what he was. And he wears a scarf around his face because his breath is so insanely bad. His breath is genuinely corrosive. He's that trope from cartoon shows where if you breathe on a flower, it dies. I also gave him a hand scarf because one, if he touches anything, it'll get a disease. And two, he just doesn't want to move his hands. He's always tired and feeling weak. So this scarf does everything for him. And it is not a part of him, actually. It is its own living being. And sometimes it decides to disobey him, which is annoying for pestilence. Basically, he's got a, like a little buddy. <laughs> that being said, Pestilence has also never felt the touch of a woman. He is the loneliest person on earth. He is so bitter about it. He is so angry that he has never been able to get on a date with anybody. His energy is literally what TikTokers refer to these days as ick. Like he's that one meme about the, like people see me. <laughs> he's that one meme about like people see me and say, oh, the scrunkly. People see you and say, oh, he ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never getting my dignity back from reciting that one. So now we have the wacky, dysfunctional siblings. Editing me, I have decided that I like these guys enough to give them voice claims. Time is of the essence. I'm at my rope's end. I can't take it anymore. You look unhealthy. 
This is our kind of surgery. Hmm. You think escaping one's fate is as easy as fleeing one's purpose. The fence is as guilty as the thief. Something's brewing. All of today is just dress rehearsal. We're not puppets. A puppet is of value, at least to the puppeteer. Soot is more precious than fire. Fire fades, but soot feeds the earth. Is this disease indeed as deadly as they say? All of this is an, an optical illusion. In reality, this town looks completely different. I can't stitch it together, but I can cut the knot. Don't worry. This won't hurt so much. Don't even bother opening your mouth. I know what you're thinking. So yeah, this was only meant to be a short video um, in preparation for the Five Nights at Freddy's video, so don't think too much about it. I might make a part two like I did with the Five Senses video if you guys like it that much. I kind of like the designs, but who knows at this point. If you like this video, then you are very cool and you are very awesome, and I am building one statue in your honor. <laughs> Curveball. And if you didn't, then 